For tonight's recipe, we're starting with one teaspoon of olive oil in a pan on medium heat. We're gonna let that heat up for just a minute. Then we're gonna start to saute a half cup, which is 1.76 ounces of scallions or green onions. We're just gonna cook those until they start to soften. Now we're adding two cloves of minced garlic. That also means two teaspoons. Saute that. And then we're adding in one 12 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach that has been thawed and had it dry. quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to cook that while stirring for about two minutes. And then we'll remove from the heat and let it cool for about 10 minutes before we add the ricotta cheese. I actually forgot the tomatoes, so we're adding a cup and a half of chopped cherry tomatoes, which is 9.51 ounces. We stirred in the tomatoes, allowed it to cook for two minutes and cool. So now we're going to add a half cup of ricotta cheese. We'll stir in the ricotta cheese. And once we have this mixed in well, we're going to divide this equally amongst the four salmon patties. We uh, cut those into five and a half ounce servings and place them on a lightly greased uh, baking pan that has a rim to it. So there's our salmon patties. I'll be putting the spinach and uh, mixture on top of those before we bake them. Okay, so we have the spinach mixture on top of the salmon pieces and we're going to bake it for 15 minutes in a 350 degree preheated oven.